Uh, thanks for coming this afternoon. Um, as normal, I'll do a bit of a spill and any opportunity to answer any questions that you may wish to ask. Uh, major crime detectives are renewing their appeal in relation to the murder of Mr Rodney Larkin. Mr Larkin was found murdered at his home address at about 4pm on Thursday the 28th of November 2013 by relatives. The investigation has identified Mr Larkin was more than likely murdered between 5pm and 8pm the previous day, being Wednesday the 27th of November 2013. At this time we are appealing to the public to try and identify five males who are caught on a neighbouring CCTV premises. Uh, the males can be seen walking in various directions up and down Kildonan Road, Royaldale, and we're asking if you're that person or you know that person, please contact Crime Stoppers. What we know from the investigation is that um, there are no signs of forced entry. We haven't been able to identify the murder weapon at this time. We know um, Mr Larkham was active on social media at about the time his murder. We have spoken to as many people as we possibly can in relation to that and we're also seeking um, the assistance from the public, anyone who had been speaking with Mr Larkin on social media to contact Crime Stoppers and also anyone who has any, any information whatsoever that can help us with this murder investigation to contact Crime Stoppers. He was convicted pedophile. Uh, do you, you think that's a possible motive or a reason why he might have been murdered? Uh, Mr Larkin did have convictions for uh, child sexual offences. It was highly publicised um, at the time. Uh, we have spoken to all those people who came forward to the police. Um, it's a line we've looked at and it's a line we can put aside for the time being. Does the fact that he was a convicted child sex offender perhaps people might not feel as compassionate towards as if people were holding back providing information? Could that be a possible... Scenario? Oh look, I, I hope not. You know, this this is a person's life we're talking about. He he has been murdered. At this stage, we don't specifically know the motive for the murder, and it may have absolutely nothing to do with his background, with his um, what he was previously uh, convicted of. It can be t could be totally separate to that. Look, you know, I know I'd appeal to the members of the public, you know, to to put that aside. And you know, this is a murder we're talking about, the most serious offence in our state for them to contact Crime Stoppers, so we can investigate bring the offender or offenders to justice, you know, because we've got a, obviously a grieving family out there. When you say you've discarded all children, to put that to one side, does that mean you've discarded that as a, as a theory or a possible way to As best we can, yes. Yes. It's, it's obviously an avenue we were going to look at, we have looked at, and it's best that we can see it's not connected with his murder. So these five men, what link do you think they have to the crime? Are they suspects? Uh, no, we can't put any of these five people into that suspect category. They may simply be people walking backwards and forwards towards um, Westfield Marion, because this road leads direct to Westfield Marion. They could be walking to and from Westfield Marion. They could have absolutely nothing to do with it. But because they've been picked up on CCTV between about 5pm and 7pm on the Wednesday, they're obviously crucial to the investigation. And as part of the bigger picture, we need to identify who they are. So there was nothing suspicious that he walked uh, back and forth numerous times or more than once back and forth or is it just as if they were going perhaps to marry and then going back past to go home? No, this is the only time I've been informed that we've picked them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are any of them the same or these are the same person walking past the same premises? No, no, they're, they're, they're um, the CTV is east of the location for those who have attended. Um, no, there's, they're five separate individuals. The, uh, you said you haven't identified a murder weapon Look, all I will say in relation to that um, is, a is a bladed instrument. Put it in those words, all that terminology is a bladed instrument. And at the time, um, there was a male student or something that lived with him. Is that being ruled out as a suspect? Uh, look, he has obviously been spoken to in depth. Um, um, from my understanding, he had moved out some time prior. He wasn't living with him at the time of the murder. Um, and he's certainly not one of the persons of interest we're looking at at the moment. When you say he was active on social media at the time, does that mean he was sending messages actively within that period of time and they have abruptly stopped? Is, how do you mean he was active on social media at the time? Did he spend that out? Yeah, I'll pr just, look, just to clarify, he, it appears he is a person who actively uses social media. Um, we have the last recording of him on social media at about 5pm, give or take a few minutes. Uh, then it does stop. Um, so that's our last time that we have been able to identify he's on social media. 
but that does not necessarily mean he may have been one of the bits longer that we just haven't been able to identify through our systems. Because obviously the issue with social media, you could, it could be Adelaide, South Australia, Australia, it could be worldwide. And that's that's the issue we um, you know are faced with. What form of social media was it? Um, in effect there, um, men meeting men sites, if I put it in that terminology.